Hello, today we're looking at KDE Plasma 4.11, a pre look, like a sneak at it. Because today is only the 29th of August 2017, it will only be released on the 5th of October 2017, but there's already a few new features which we can look at it. I'm running KDE Neon, the dev version, so it's still unstable, but we get a glimpse at what is to come, and we all want to know what is to come in, in the future. So, you get this option between Plasma and Plasma with Wayland, but in a VM, and I'm running this in a VM, it's all messed up the display in Wayland, so I'm gonna stick to Plasma. I tried to now, I tried a few weeks ago to look at to make a video like this about KDE Plasma 5.11 and there was a new logging manager after running updates but I couldn't log in and it was quite would have been quite weird to make a video and say look at this new logging manager but you can't log in yet but they are working on it and that's awesome as you can see the first glances they got a new wallpaper like I'm just gonna run through all the new things here, which I've seen. And if you want to have a proper look, look at the description there. I made another video in my other channel where I just use background music, but I click on every single thing. So that's a much more in-depth look. Here is just what's new and that's all. So basically, one thing I notice is when I create a folder, and I'm sure I haven't seen everything. So if there's anything you know of which I missed, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. As you know, this is a it's moving Italy files into folders on the desktop is a KD Plasma 5.10 thing, but I got some new features here. We got the folder view, which is basically a widget which placed your desktop new folder inside the widget on your desktop. It's quite cool. So add some widgets to to this function of moving files easily in your file system from your desktop. Another thing I noticed is, is quite neat and new is the system settings, like when I played around with it, I thought, let's just go to the system settings, nothing is new there, and man was I surprised. As you can see already, something changed, they got a frequently used, and this is not just for you, this is in general, this is a fresh install, and then all the system settings moves to, moves to the side, and it's like another side panel here, and then all the options. So it takes more space, but I think it's a very smart move. I think it's a very good looking, and then you also get to like this shortcuts here. Like the pops to tell you what is inside. I think it's a great, great idea, and I'm so excited to see. It looks more like machines, and it works more like machine all like you expect it should work. If you go to a home folder, I just want to show you that the KDE apps already got a newer release than currently known, 17.11.70. I know we still at the 70. Or four cycle, if I'm correct, in like the stable releases, it's also all brand new, no, 70.10, so releases. And if we go to info, this is all basically the same. So basically, it's, I'm running KDE Plasma version 5.10.90. KDE Frameworks 5.37.0, QT 5.9.1, Kernel 
and yes, some more information about graphical information. Wayland, when you log in, X server and open GL. If you just type in Wayland here, I don't know exactly what it's going to open up here. Nothing more than here. So I can't yet see what was the Wayland is running. And I don't know how to see it. It's Firefox 55.0.2. LibreOffice not pre installed, but you can install it with the software center. And the software center is always just works better and better. Like there's a lot of general improvements in the solar system. But that is the main things which I currently see. New awesome wallpaper. System settings clearly got some well needed to work on. And it's a locking manager coming and very easy to switch to Wayland. I can quickly switch for you, but as I told you before, I'm running this in Virtualbox, so display looks very small, if it makes sense. But it's a very, very good looking. In general, this is so good looking. For Somebody who loves to look at KDE Plasma, I think this is, seems to going to be one of the best releases ever. And they are working up to KDE Plasma 5.12, which will be an RTS release, so I'm pretty sure, as you can see, this is Wayland. They are all working up there, and I'm sure like Linux Mint 19 will, will run on the RTS re release like normal and Ubuntu, Kubuntu 7, Ubuntu 18.4, so they all work up to that RTA, RTS release. And I'm sure the apps will also, as you can see in VM, right in VM, in the VM, this looks odd. But it's here. And it looks better. I really think it looks good. It just needs some work and I couldn't get the display to work yet, but it looks so much better. And here's some more information about Wayland. Yeah, so in general I like it and I think they've done some great work and I can't wait to have a better look a bit later on. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.